This week's class, When Your Health Matters, the class designed to empower you to better health through knowledge and education. And I'm your host, Dr. Richard Untoon from Advanced Alternative Medicine Center. We're located at 138 Canal Street in Pooler Park. That is in Pooler, Georgia. We're in Suite 404 of Building 400. If you'd like to get a hold of me, please feel free to call my cell phone directly at area code 845-561-2225. Again, 845-561-2225. Uh, please don't text that phone as that phone is not uh, equipped to receive texts. But you can email me directly at docrick at spineboy.com. That's D O C R I C K at spineboy.com. Or you could be really brave and you could stop into the office located at 138 Canal Street in Pooler Park, that is in Pooler, Georgia, um, Suite 404 of Building 400. I'm happy to meet you. I'm happy to uh, offer you a tentative evaluation to answer your direct questions that you bring to me when you stop into the office or uh, we can invite you in if you uh, call me or reach out to me. Um, last week we talked about how we trash our immune system. Uh, this week we'd like to help you appreciate how to build a strong immune system. Um, you're born with what's known as innate immunity it's the immunity that you inherit from your mom uh, while growing in her belly. Uh, if your mom's immune system was pretty trashed, uh, I can promise you yours is going to be compounded to be more trashed than hers was, unless she takes various steps uh, after you're born to help um, build your immune system. Um, well, that means requiring breastfeeding, uh, requiring eating healthy food, uh, you want to breastfeed uh, for at least 18 months, um, but that doesn't typically happen nowadays uh, due to various choices that, uh, mothers make. Um, and but if you if you uh, would like to give your child the best opportunity for a strong immune system, that would be through the breastfeeding. Um, the acquired immunity is a second type of immunity that we get, and that comes from. Uh, Playing in the dirt uh, when we were kids, hanging out with other sick children. Uh, remember chicken pox parties? Um, they definitely went on, uh, except for some reason we're not having uh, COVID parties. Um, other parts that uh, help to build the acquired immune system are the tonsils, your adenoids, hopefully you still have those, uh, the enteric nervous system, which lines your whole digestive system, uh, your bone marrow your spleen, and your lymphatic system. Um, and if you've had your tonsils removed, uh, then things are going to get that much further into your system since your tonsils and adenoids are there to stop things at the entry route of your mouth or your uh, nose. Um, so we talked a little bit last week about why the immune system fails. Uh, we talked about uh, the completely refined and processed food we talked about antibiotics, we talked about medications over the counter or prescription medications, uh, we talked about stress, um, the vicious cycle associated with uh, not being able to solve a problem leads to worry, um, worry the not knowing leads to confusion, uh, cloudy thinking, uh, yearning for a solution to your problem, uh, despair, helplessness. Uh, nervousness, lack of control over events, um, and eventually uh, obsession where you're overthinking about it and eventually low self-esteem as a result and this stresses out the stomach and spleen pancreas meridians causing one to uh, crave sugar. Uh, when you crave sugar that's going to suppress your immune system. Um, basically a person will develop dependency upon these types of foods uh, consistently living a lifestyle that uh, suppresses their immune system every single day based upon the choices that you make. Um, and so these are the ways as a review in terms of how we trash our immune system. But what can we do to build our immune system and make it strong? Well, ideally you need to remove sugar from your diet. All man-made, completely refined and processed, what I call the crap foods, uh, you need to take those out of your diet. Um, restore balance to your digestion. Uh, 
that includes uh, taking a probiotic, but knowing which probiotic is the correct one for you. That's where you may need a little bit of my help or somebody else who uh, helps to evaluate your digestive system and your enteric nervous system. Um, need to eat better food. Uh, this will go a hugely long way towards building a strong immune system because you're not creating uh, the imbalance associated with the dysbiosis from the antibiotics and the alcohols and the over-the-counter medicines, etc. Um, that lead to the dysbiosis and the dysfunctional immune system causing the overstimulation of your immune system leading to allergies, food allergies, airborne allergies, contact allergies, eventually leading to autoimmune disease. Um, so you need to eat better food. And when you eat better food, uh, then your body will have the building blocks in an effort to repair, rebuild, and replenish itself so that your body has the ability to do its job appropriately. Um, and because the foods that we eat and the medications that we take and the, just the environment that we live in, um, you're definitely going to need to supplement your immune system. Now, um, supplementing is giving back the body the required ingredients that you are deficient in. Uh, the basic five we all need are, are a good multivitamin. The multivitamin that I recommend is Catalin, uh, the gluten-free version of Catalin. Um, these are all through a supplement company called Standard Process. Um, you definitely need a probiotic. The probiotic I get through a different company called Metagenics. It's the Ultraflora Balance Dairy-Free Capsules um, or the Ultraflora Synergy, which is a powdered form. Uh, but either way, um, you definitely need the probiotic. I recommend one capsule or uh, one uh, half, no, quarter teaspoon three times a day or one capsule three times a day. Help replenish the good bacteria that your body needs that we're trashing all the time by eating sugar and consuming alcohol and prescription drugs and non-prescription drugs and um, chlorine and fluoride and bromide found in flour-based products. Um, you want to take a supplement called Zymex, Z-Y-M-E-X, uh, that's there to help uh, get rid of the excess yeast and candidia that helps to lead to leaky gut. Um, calcium lactate and cataplex C to help keep the entry ports and the cells that help to fight off infection strong and active um, and keep infection out of the body. You need uh, cataplex B to improve heart and digestive function. Uh, along with the probiotics so that you can actually absorb those B vitamins and keep your heart, uh, the rhythm of your heart working the way that it should. Um, immune building supplements. Uh, this is what I've been talking about for the last uh, 21 months um, before COVID-19 reached our shores. Uh, I encourage people to take Immuplex, um, which has antiviral properties in it. Uh, we recommended that everybody take uh, Thymex, T-H-Y-M-E-X, that helps to build strong immune cells and um, stimulate your thymus gland, which produces those immune cells. Uh, we talked about Congaplex, which is an antibacterial, uh, in, ca in case uh, somebody talks about potential co-infections. Um, we talked about calcium and, and uh, Cataplex C. Uh, so the four main ones that we ask for is Thymex, Immuplex, Calcium Lactate, Cataplex C. If you're taking at least six of those every day, um, you're going to help to strengthen and build strong immunity so that your body can fight off anything that it potentially comes in contact with. Um, you need to deal with your stress. Uh, change how uh, you react to your stress if you can't change the stress itself. Um, you definitely have to deal with your stress and you need to determine that stress is a personal choice. You decide if something's stressful or not. You know, kind of the mind over matter. If you don't mind, then it don't matter. But um, a lot of us are stressed out with uh, everything that's been going on for the last 21 months. Um, and last but not least, the best thing that you can do for yourself would be to get adjusted regularly. Every time you get an adjustment, you increase your T helper cells, which are the cells that help to recognize anything foreign that doesn't belong in the body. When your T helper cells are increased, 
you fight off infection that much easier. Uh, you will get the immune response appropriate for an invader significantly faster than if you don't have enough T helper cells. And every single time you get adjusted, this was proven, I was one of the people that volunteered, it was proven in a research study that was done at the school that I went to, National College of Chiropractic, which is now National University of Health Sciences, I believe it's called. Um, but they drew, drew our blood, they checked the immune cells that we had, they gave us an adjustment and drew our blood again, and every single time that somebody got an adjustment, it increased their T helper cells markedly. And so the best thing you can do to help, other than the nutritional supplements, uh, removing sugar from your diet, restoring balance to your digestive system with probiotics, uh, eating better food, supplements related to Catalin probiotics, Zymex, calcium lactate, Cataplex C, uh, Cataplex B, um, and then the immune building ones, specifically the Immuplex, the Thymex, the Congaplex, and again, more uh, calcium lactate and Cataplex C. These are all the supplements that I would recommend one take if they would like to build a strong immune system. Now, if you have other health issues, that's going to require other support. If you don't have health issues, this is the way that I've given protocol-wise that you would help to maintain and improve your immune system. But if you have other underlying comorbidities, it seems to be a popular word in, in television language right now, uh, related to COVID-19, um, if you have other comorbidities, chances are you're going to need to do more than just those basics. But those basics are a wonderful place to start. Give your body the necessary ingredients it needs to fight off and uh, resist infection. And uh, that's what I would ask you to do. I would ask you to stop into the office at 138 Canal Street in Pooler Park, Suite 404 of Building 400. Again, that is in Pooler, Georgia, for a health evaluation so we can determine what you need to stay healthy and not have to worry about uh, contracting anything out there that you don't want to contract. Um, please feel free to call me at area code 845-561-2225 if you have any questions, or you can email me directly at docrick, D-O-C-R-I-C-K, at spineboy.com if you have any questions, or like I said, stop into the office and uh, we can evaluate you. Uh, that would be the best thing that you could do, and while you're here, we'll give you an adjustment, because we just learned adjustments are very important for boosting your T helper cells. So I want to thank you for tuning in. I want to thank you for uh, watching this video, and uh, come, back, come back again next week, same health time, same health station. This is Dr. Richard Huntoon from Advanced Alternative Medicine Center saying, I look forward to supporting you when your health matters.